support. Okay. Room. Room. Support room. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lori Maddock, and I am the nurse manager for the new pediatric unit here at Tradition Medical Center in Port St. Lucie. We're here today because we want to give you a grand tour of our new pediatric unit that will opening on Monday, March 26th. And I'm Beth Pond. I'm the corporate director of maternal child services here at Martin Health Center. And we are so excited to be showing you our pediatric unit. Since Tradition has opened in December 2013, there has been a real need for pediatrics out here in the community of Port St. Lucie. So we've been um, working on this unit for the past six months, and we're finally ready to show it and open it. And we're going to take you on a tour and show you that right now. So I'm going to take you through to our family support area that we have on our new unit. We have um, this air designed this area for our families our parents specifically to have space to, to get away from or unwind from you know being here in the hospital with their children. This area has a computer for them to check up on their email, do anything that they might need to do to use a computer. We have comfortable chairs. It's got two large windows, so it's a very bright unit. Um, we have a refrigerator, some other amenities here that they can come in. We will have um, some small food items that they can come in and get to eat. We have a full bathroom so that they can come in and shower and um, use the facilities uh, so they don't have to use the facilities in the child's room. We also have a washer and dryer for families because most of the time when they come into the hospital with their children it's not expected and sometimes they don't have time to grab clothes or change their clothes. So we have a washer and dryer where they can wash their things while they're here. We also have a family, con we call this the family consult room, where we would meet with families with the physician or any other members of the team that would want to meet with the family together. They can also use this room for meals or um, just to sit down and get some bright sun and get, and get away and relax. area we're going to tour you through are a few of our patient rooms and these rooms were designed with the needs and the wants of hospitalized children we kept in mind all of those things so this particular room right now is set up for a small infant we actually have several different types of cribs and beds that we can use depending on the developmental age of the child and the size of the child this room is actually a room that was designed with um, ADA specifications, so that means American Disabilities Act. The bathroom is a little bit larger, and I will show you that in a moment. Um, and the room is a little bit larger itself. Some of the nice features of the room from the um, nursing side of things is that we have a tools um, bar here where every single room has the tools needed to do examination and assessment on children. We have our thermometer our ear and eye scopes, blood pressure cuffs, all of our oxygen and everything that we would need. We have um, a very extensive nurse call system here where um, patients and families can get a hold of the nurses by just simply pressing a button and it reaches their phone that they carry. We have the capability of doing centralized monitoring, which means if a child needs to be on a heart monitor or a respiratory monitor, we can monitor right here in the room, and it actually displays out at the nurse's station where we have a staff member sitting at all times so they can monitor the child in case there are any issues that we need to address. The other little station that you see right here is actually our computer documentation station where the physician or the nursing staff can be right here at the bedside and be in the room more doing all of their documentation into the medical record. So that's a nice um, feature as well to keep nurses more in the room and interacting with their patients. I will give you a quick little peek of this bathroom just to show you that it is a little bit larger and there is a shower, a shower chair here so if we have a child who's unable to stand in the shower then they can use that. We're going to go into another room where you'll actually see a different style of bed for our patients and I'll show you some of the fun features that we have in our rooms for our kids.
So this next room that we're going into, you can see is set up with a hospital bed for a larger child. And typically, we put children less than the age of four into one of our cribs. We have a couple different sizes. And then over the age of four, they can sleep in a hospital bed. You'll notice here it has all the same features that we looked at in the other room. You may notice that we have a fun little pillowcase on the bed, and those pillowcases are actually donated to us from Ryan's Case for Smiles, which is an organization that provides kid-friendly pillowcases that we can put on the bed in anticipation of a child coming up from the emergency room or from a physician's office. And depending on the age of the child, or whether it's a girl or a boy, our staff is delighted to pick out a specific pillowcase for that child. For instance, a five-year-old girl, we would put a pillowcase on that has Disney princesses on it. So I see little kids coming up to the unit with a sad look because they're being admitted to the pediatric unit and they don't feel well. And the minute they come in the room and see some of the toys that we put in here and they see their special pillowcase we picked out for them, all of a sudden now they're smiling. So that um, really makes not only the parents feel good, but it makes the staff feel good as well. Another exciting feature that we have is that we actually have PlayStation systems in every single patient room with um, a remote controller so the patient can be in their bed and playing video games. We have a bunch of games that have been donated to us from um, Little Smiles from down in Palm Beach County and we're thrilled to be able to provide that for our kids too. One of the things that um, kids feel when they're in the hospital, not only are they afraid and they're not feeling well, but they're bored. So we want to make sure we have a lot of activities for them to just kind of, you know, make the time go by a little bit faster. We also have these whiteboards that are designed with kids in mind, and our nursing staff actually designed these, and we have some cute little pictures of animals on it, and it just has some good information on here, not only for the parents, but for the nursing staff. It's a good way for the nursing staff and the parents to kind of communicate little reminders on it. Um, the patient's preferred name, we always want to, you know, call our, our kids by what name that they prefer. And just some other, you know, little bit of information on here. So Gina's watching. She says she's really excited for you all. Hi, Gina. Hi, Gina. <laughs> and Scott asks, can Hi, we Gina. come just to play the PlayStation? We sure. will. He can come give a class to us. So as we walk down our beautiful hallway, which we're just really, really proud of, we wanted to let you know that we have um, a totally locked unit. The unit is locked, and to gain access, you either have to have a badge like we have, or visitors have to ring a bell and be admitted by our nursing staff. Not only is it a locked unit, but we have an in, what we call an infant child security system. So every child that's on the unit will wear a tag that will be in our security system that will let us know if they approach the door or go outside the door without us knowing. So it's a totally safe system. We never have to worry about our children wandering off the floor or strangers wandering up on the unit. Here, where we do have some of our staff working. We're still putting those final touches, getting uh, prepared for our opening on Monday, March 26th. But this is where our nurses are, where they can do some work here. They can also monitor the camera system or the centralized monitoring system. This is a place where they'll answer the phone, they will buzz parents into the unit. So this is kind of the, the workstation here of the department. If you walk down the halls, you can see that we have picked colors and design that are calming and serene. Kids love animals, so we chose our artwork based on cute little baby animals that we have on the walls and our butterflies. And actually, the design of this unit was based on the fact that it is a, a unit for children, but also it goes with the whole design style of Tradition Medical Center, where it's very calming and natural colors so just to kind of bring a little bit of peace of mind for our families that are here and because we take care of children 0 to 18 we didn't want it to have it be very small children like so that when our teenagers are here they will feel comfortable and warm and welcome as well just another little highlight that we had for the tradition is these are our nurse servers and we have them on all of our floors at tradition hospital but it's a closet that is locked it's just not locked right now because we're filling them between every two rooms. So the nurses, when they're in the room doing patient care, if they need to get something like diapers or wipes 
or IV um, supplies, um, soap, different things like that. All they have to do is come out of the room and get this right here. They don't have to run down the hall, which is a rather large hallway to get their supplies. There's also linen stocked in the bottom. So this, is, this makes it really easy for the nurse's workflow. I'm gonna take you into our treatment room, also known as the procedure room. And this room is used primarily for um, procedures that we need to do on children. We like to bring patients into the procedure room to have some of their treatments done because we wanna keep the room safe for them, their, their patient room safe. So we bring them in here um, and we um, start IVs, we draw blood, we do whatever ne is necessary to treat them while they're here. We made this room really large so that the parents are invited to come in the room with their child so that the child doesn't just come in the room with the nurse. The parents can come in and be with their child while they're having procedures done. We have all the equipment that we have in the patient rooms, the central monitoring, the treatment um, devices that we may need, and we have a TV so the kids can be distracted. We also have, have other distracting devices that we can use to help the child while they're going through a procedure. The next room I'm going to show you is our multi-purpose playroom. That kind of speaks for itself. This is a room designed for kids, again, with the same kind of natural, you know, scenes here, nature, nature scenes. But this room is designed for exactly what it says, for play. So this is an area where our kids can come out of their room. We have toys and games stocked in our cabinets that they can come in and play with. We also have a large TV with a PlayStation, games, movies, so kids can come in here and again, get out of their room and just have a little bit of distraction and a little bit of fun. One of the features about the room as well is that nothing medically goes on in this room. So if a medication needs to be given, any type of procedure needs to happen, however minimal it is, it does not happen in this room. This is the room where the kids can come and get away from all of that and just feel like a kid again. Um, Right now it's set up for some education that we're going to be doing with our nursing staff over the next couple days, but once we finish that and for the opening on Monday, we're going to be putting in our larger size adult tables and chairs and then our small child size tables and chairs. This is a room where we can also organize some activities, so if we want to have popcorn and movie night or a pizza party or organize some games or movie night or arts and crafts, whatever we want to do to get our kids out of their rooms and having some fun, we'll bring them into this room and the staff will lead some of that playtime as well. So we really haven't talked about the nursing staff that much either, but we want to just say that we have a wonderful nursing staff coming over here that are so excited to be able to care for kids. A lot of experienced nurses, PCTs who are just really um, so excited. I, I can't even tell you how excited they are. They were here at the opening last night and they can't wait to come over here and, and do their job in this nice environment. Absolutely. So we thank you so much for um, viewing our Facebook Live tour of our new pediatric unit today. Again, we open on Monday, March 26th at 7 a.m. If you want to come out and meet some of our staff, some of our nursing staff, we will be out here at Tradition at the Easter egg hunt on Saturday at 10 a.m. We would love to have you come by our Martin Health tent and say hello. Okay. And Amanda, real quick, writes, as the mom of a special needs child, knowing you have a pediatric unit now is so reassuring. It's an absolutely beautiful unit. Well, we're thrilled, too. Thank you all for watching. Thank, Thank you. you.